So with this with the schedule, how the NWSL has um, decided to take the month off. I mean, is that something that you like? Obviously, it's going to take away from oh, you know having that uh, time. But. Huge credit to the league in the setup of the schedule. We're not playing in FIFA. Huge steps, two huge steps. We're taking the break, and we're not playing during FIFA days. You know, uh, Nadia, Dagny, they go back for international stuff. They don't miss a single game um, because we're not playing during FIFA days. Last year, that didn't happen. It's a huge step from the league. Last season, the team, obviously, there's a lot of issues with the World Cup, and <laughs> you guys obviously not spending yeah. too much time here. Do you feel like it's going to be a better balance with the way the league set up the schedule this year? Yeah, I think so, and, you know, as a... You're obviously a member of the Canadian team. We're not doing a residency camp before, um, you know, so we'll be gone, you know, during FIFA dates uh, between now and the Olympics. Um, and that's about it. And then a little chunk right before the Olympics start. So I think the idea is that we'll all be in our professional environments a lot more. And, you know, personally, I'm excited. You know, this is, this is my home and, you know, it's the, the best place to play. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Internationals not going to want to come if they're missing 10, 12 league games out of 20. You know, right now, um, those the Dagny and Nadia who are not going to the Olympics, if I'm if I'm right, don't miss a single game due to international duty. That's a huge difference. Um, previously, it's a good step. Obviously, with the World Cup, it was really hard coming in and out and um, having those two responsibilities. Uh, but obviously we have the Olympics as well. I think because of the timing of the Olympics and also how the league is scheduled this year, I think we'll have more cohesion and we'll be in market a lot more, which uh, for us obviously um, will be a lot easier. Do you think the roster in general is set up a little bit better to deal with um, international dates and Olympics this year? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one thing that, you know, you have to wait and see, you know, it's a long season, injuries and things like that happen and you never know. Um, but just the, I think the depth of our team is, is different this year and, uh, you know, not all of our international players are going to the Olympics, so that'll be a change. <laughs> the break during the Olympics, I think it's, um, I think it times well on a physical side in regards to your, your, your team, you know, maybe it's a bit long if it was just uh, for, for a, a little break. We'll, we'll, if it's three weeks, we'll probably take almost a week off but we'll be in um, either side of that week and you know, we'll be finishing up our prep and then gearing back up for the final part of the season. All right. Thanks Mark. Thank you. Thanks guys.